Hi everybody. Today I'm working on a 10 by 20. Has another unusual color situation. Um, this is my raw sienna. And this is raw sienna with a little bit of white added to it. Really clay looking colors to me. This is, if you've never tried it, Chroma 1969 Molten Metals Metallics. They are wonderful. And so creamy and so smooth and so easy to blend up with your Floetrol. So, and these are all very similar colors, as you can tell. Very much similar. But I've done a painting in these. It turned out really pretty. But today, I'm adding some black. Let's see. I think I need a little more water. Like I said in one of my previous videos, it seems like when I mix them, I can't tell the density and the consistency as well as I can when I pour them in the cup. This painting takes seven ounces, so seven or eight ounces because you want your sides covered. I hope I have enough. I think I'm going to sandwich this metallic in between these two colors, and I'm going to hit it with black and then the colors, and then black, and then the colors, I think. And that probably could be a little bit thinner. If you hear shooting in the background, it's because I live about a half a mile from a shooting range, and it's Saturday, and they are shooting like crazy over there. They will be tomorrow, too. Actually, they do it every day. I think I have a lot of retired military living close to me. I hope this turns out all right, adding this black. Don't have enough paint. This is not enough paint. Because that's not seven ounces. This is a nine ounce cup that I'm pouring into. Last of the metallic. Nope, this is the metallic. The metallic may be about the same thickness as the others, or just a little bit thicker. It seems to sometimes want to disappear on you. Metallic wants to sink.
since I have a little more black mixed up right here. And I don't have any more of the other colors. Well, I do have the burnt sienna. Just gonna add a little bit. This may not be enough either. Should pour more in there. I don't want to put a whole ounce though. I think I'm getting pretty close to seven. Some people want to have more paint. I don't want too much. I like to stretch it so that it dries pretty and there's no texture and bumps and lumps and dibbles and stuff on it. So, now I gotta decide how I'm gonna do this. I hadn't thought about that. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how I'm doing it. And, since I'm a little short on paint, and I have black in there, if I run short, I can always paint the edges solid black. how this bubbles in under that paint. It seems to create cells for me. And I don't like this circle that's left by the cup. So, I'm going to get rid of it. No silicone, but I'm gonna pop some bubbles. What the torch is for is to pop the bubbles if you're a new viewer. Could have been a little thinner.
I believe that um, Palma metallic color, that red, is called Rojo. Rojo. Yes, I needed more paint. I gotta stop estimating in those little cups. Oh, I've got two ounces in this. Probably. This paint does run slow, but it does run. It's real smooth and creamy, so. We'll see if it covers it. I'll speed this part up. If it doesn't, I'll just go get some more and pour a little bit on that corner. I do like this. Looks kind of spacey. Yeah, it's gonna cover. May look stretched, but that's all right. I may turn this into a galaxy. I don't know if you can see for the reflection and the not having the extra light on in here. So, there we go. Now, design-wise, I'm not wild about this and this because that didn't come on down and over like it should have. I kind of like that, but I don't like this thing coming out. So, you know me. Diddle with it. So I really need to get some over here. You have to be addicted to this, I guess, to watch paint flow. I don't know. There's a lot of people that watch these. Not necessarily mine, but other videos. Other people, a lot of other people doing videos. Now, I see it coming off down there. Swirling into that area. Should have brought it back down this way. See, I'm still learning. I'll learn on every single painting. I'm certainly not a pro. Stretched a lot up there if you look at that top corner. I actually thought I had this corner covered better than I did earlier. I'm 
be speeding this one up for you guys. I don't know if you can see that. I want to move back over that way a little bit. I like these colors though. Next time I just need to use more paint. Okay, that's looking much better now. Mainly because this is not just a stripe. When it's just a stripe like that, that's called a hard edge. And it is really not pleasing to the eye. The, the brain doesn't like it. The eye and the brain doesn't like it when there's too many straight lines. It kind of, even though you look at buildings and stuff in real life that are straight lines, there are a lot of angles on those buildings. And if you paint buildings, you understand how many angles there are. The roof line, you know, the, end, the edge of the, where the roof meets the wall, the way it sits in the scenery at an angle, everything is angles. That's why I don't do many buildings. But, um, that was one thing that I learned pretty quick when I started doing brush painting was that hard edges are not appealing, visually appealing. So, let's see if I can get you a close up of it. Looks pretty cool. I'm not standing behind the camera, and the camera is faced away from me. The camera's towards the thing, but the screen is away from me, so I can't really see it. Now, this paint really does a good job of leveling out, so I'm not too worried about where I took that out. And plus, I do this to help that paint settle back in. I think there might still actually be something there. Could be a bubble. I like this one. And I can't wait for it to dry. It'll be dry by tomorrow. So that I'm pretty sure that this is that red gold, I mean that red metallic, and some of this down through here. And right in there, it's kind of shiny. I think it's really gonna be pretty when it dries. So, thank you for watching. I hope this was a little bit shorter than I have been posting. Um, like I said, I'll probably speed up some of these places, but I just want to say thank you for joining me, and I want to wish everybody a good day, a good evening, and thank you so much for watching.